Here is another kidney. We can see that instantly. You could see these nice glomeruli. You could see some large blood vessels out here. And you could see some more uh, cortical tissue out here. The one thing that uh, you might have a little difficulty in recognizing too quickly is nice tubules. And why is that? Well, just as we said before, the three basic patterns of a renal transplant rejection can be summarized as hyperacute, in which antibodies uh, are the primary uh, mechanism of rejection and occurs within hours of the transplant. And then we had the acute pattern in which we have a cellular uh, infiltrate, chiefly lymphocytes attacking the transplant. And in this case, we have a chronic transplant rejection. There are several things that go on with chronic uh, renal transplant rejection. And uh, one of them uh, is intimal damages. You could see in these arteries, there's disruption of the intima. Uh, that's only one of the features. Probably uh, a more a common and the usual main feature of chronic rejection is that you can see there is a progressive um, deposition of material between the tubules. And here, you, that is why the tubules are not that easily visualized, because you have a, pressive, a progressive accumulation of material between the tubules, which chokes off the tubules, but can also secondarily involve uh, blood vessels and glomeruli as well. And that's why when we look at this chronically rejected kidney, we don't see uh, terribly heavy infiltrates of inflammatory cells or mononuclear inflammatory cells like we did with uh, acute. We do see some, but the main pattern here uh, is progressive thickening of the um, interstitial area between the tubules causing progressive tubular damage. Thank you very much.